so we have question number 46 with us question number 46 says the products obtained when chlorine gas reacts with cold and dilute aqueous NaOH are the options are option 1 says Cl minus and ClO minus second option is Cl minus and ClO2 minus third option is ClO minus and ClO3 minus and fourth option is ClO2 minus and ClO3 minus so when chlorine gas reacts with cold and dilute sodium hydroxide it gives you chloride and ClO minus now let's move to question number 47 question number 47 is says in the following reaction ZNO is respectively acting as A or N ZNO plus Na2O gives you Na2ZNO2 in the second case ZNO plus CO2 gives you ZNCO3 as we know zinc oxide is amphoteric in nature in the first reaction sodium oxide is a base hence zinc oxide must be reacting as an acid so in the first reaction it is acting as an acid as we know carbon dioxide is acidic oxide so zinc oxide must be basic here so in the first reaction it is acting as acid and in the second reaction it is acting as base so the correct answer is option 2 for question number 47 if I talk about question number 48 question number 48 says sodium salt of an organic acid X produces effervescence with concentrated H2SO4 X reacts with acidified aqueous CaCl2 solution to give a white precipitate which decolorizes acidic solution of KMnO4 X is the options are sodium acetate sodium oxalate sodium benzoate and sodium formate these are the four options given I am writing this X gives you effervescence that means it is giving you carbon dioxide then X when reacts with aqueous CaCl2 it gives you white PPT and this white PPT decolorize KMnO4 solution so what should be X so X will be sodium oxalate because sodium oxalate is oxidized by concentrated H2SO4 giving you carbon dioxide the white precipitate formed here is CaC2O4 and when it reacts with KMnO4 solution it will be oxidized C2O4 2 minus ion will be oxidized hence the correct answer is option 2 that is sodium oxalate now let's move to the next question which is question number 49 question number 49 says the most abundant element by mass in the body of a healthy human adult are oxygen carbon hydrogen and nitrogen their percentages are given the weight which a 75 kg person would gain if all 1H atoms are replaced by 2H atoms is as we can see hydrogen is 10 percent so 75 kg person will have mass of hydrogen 10 percent of 75 kg that is equal to 7.5 kg as we can see mass of hydrogen is doubled so 7.5 kg will change to 15 kg that is there will be a total increase of 7.5 in the mass hence the correct answer for this question is option 1 now let's move to question number 50 question number 50 says on treatment of 100 ml of 0.1 molar solution of COCl3.6H2O with excess of AgNO3 1.2 into 10 to the power 22 ions are precipitated the complex is as we can see number of moles of complex is equals to volume in liters multiplied by molarity that is 0 0.01 mole and precipitated ions is equals to 
1.2 into 10 to the power 22 divided by 6 into 10 to the power 23. These many moles. That is 0 0.02 mole approximately. So here we can see 0 0.01 mole of complex give you 0 0.02 mole of precipitate. That means two chloride ions are outside the coordination sphere. So the formula of complex will be COH2O whole 5 Cl Cl2 dot H2O where two chloride ions are outside the coordination sphere. Hence it will precipitate two moles of AgCl. So the correct answer for this question is option 2. So this is all about from question number 46 to 50. From 51 onwards, we'll discuss in the next video.